guys, this is Gwendolyn. I'm back again. But today I would like to show you guys a quick solution for a quick hair protective style. Is that right? Protective hair style. Protective hair style. Hair style. <laughs> Hi you guys, this is Gwendolyn and I'm glad to be back again. And for today's video, I would like to share with you guys a quick protective hairstyle. Boom! <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm going to share with you something that I do sometimes when I just figured it out actually. But typically, I do certain things to my hair to protect my hair and or utilize different products and sometimes pieces or whatever, like the braids and things along with my own hair because my hair has a really, really hard time holding curls. Hey, hold so I wanted to share with you a something I came up with because I'm always looking for ways to work with my own hair my own hair is really really it's like it's really soft where I know that's not like I know I sound weird but it's hard to hold curls and things it's been it that way my mother's hair is like mostly straight so my hair doesn't hold curls so no matter what length hair that I'm having for that moment I usually have just for the record I've always had really long hair okay but uh, through the years I've cut my hair different lengths for different reasons and even with cut hair I would utilize sometimes pieces weave pieces or whatever for various reasons to help hold a style because my hair won't hold styles it would just my hair goes just will flop I don't care what I do to it, my hair my natural hair would just flop typically so I don't care if my hair is really long my hair is really short whatever styles I wear I utilize products and or sometimes hair pieces to help to make my style to hold, hold style. better mm -hmm. okay because anything my hair just flops it goes it's just crazy but anyway my mother's hair just sort of won't, can't take any heat it can't curl nothing no products no anything like that so I'm working with a little bit of that as well as my dad had a lot of long hair so anyway working with both is hard but all of that to be said, because I don't want somebody to come, girl, you never had, girl, yes, I do have nice no. hair. For oh. the record, I would prefer my hair to be like you. I have nice hair, and it's like naturally. And the thing is, and just for the record, I think about this, like a lot of people that get accused of not having nice or hair that would just grow. If your nails grow, your hair will grow. My nails mm -hmm. naturally grow really fast. I cut my nails all the time. Like Hayden, you guys know my son, Hayden has extremely long hair. I'll let Lexi add some of his hair pictures in to show he has, well, we all have typically long hair. His nails, like I help him keep his nails trimmed because I look at them for what he does on um, his sports and things. And I would, he needs to trim his nails almost weekly. I am similar. So we grow hair, just being, for, just being honest. I don't stress on my hair. So all of that to be said before, disclaimer as they call, don't come from me saying, girl, yes, Gwen does have nice hair. Okay. But. I don't always want to my hair because my hair grows in mostly gray in a lot, especially around the, the edges yeah. of my hair. Oh my goodness, you guys. And it works for some people. It doesn't work for me. I don't like gray hair on me. And I so I have to dye my hair. How often are you doing it for me? Like, I was dyeing her hair like... I tried to space it out with once a month trying to dye your hair, There's but no it really way. needed more than that. I have because to go almost just, every other week. Yeah, it was, your hair just doesn't... And not semi-permanent permanent permanent as potent permanent oh. dye as I could yeah, find nothing will hold and it I hair. can't get stuff to yeah. stay I've bleached the site I bleached your hair she's bleached it and, and everything it still has grown in gray we've dyed it black we've dyed it brown we've dyed my it, natural hair um, is like red. grayish now the white color bleached. they're really mm -hmm. that what is it called silver yeah the gray the silver the whitish color light whatever and reddish color all yep. different colors my natural hair grows in that's a oh god so if i don't keep my hair colored dyed whatever every other week or so like by the third week it's a wrap yeah so i don't sometimes i don't feel like doing it and it's hard to find things products that stay nothing so far works in my hair nothing stays past a few weeks nothing so it just anyway it's just somewhere it's something weird about to my hair I can't keep makeup on either, so I'm saying solution. So anyway, <laughs> all of this, you guys, to show you, I come up with with the solution. I found one. I know people use something similar, but I thought of something that worked a little bit better that was really super quick. And this is what you would need for this. Okay. I'm looking over here. got my little girl, my chick. Look at this, my girl. Oh, look at her little lashes. Look at her. Sorry, girl. But 
this she's here to help demonstrate something that I, I figured out that works for me and longer term okay so to help if I don't want any of my hair out if I want some of my hair out just a frontal anything that I do I can do with this process okay so what you would what you would need for this process that I'm going to share with you is you don't need her but this was just to house a wig okay so I have this you can use a full wig or pieces or frontal mm -hmm. and what did they call the what is the, the tracks the tracks mm -hmm. you can use tracks and things like that okay I like to use a full wig even if I make one a partial a lot of times I wear partial mm -hmm. and braids my own partially my hair and or I do a lot of different things. I'm, I'm really creative with my hair. I've had to because most people can't do my hair mm -hmm. because of the texture. They just don't know what to do with my hair. Yeah. So um, I've had to learn to do my own hair. It's like it's too straight for some people, and but it's thick. I have a lot of thick. Yeah. I have a lot, a lot of hair. So it's been hard. So I have to learn to be creative. So I brought this out to show you that this wig, it doesn't matter whether it's synthetic or you know, like people wear what or are the those things that lace fronts lace or whatever. Frontal, full lace. Any of those, I believe, will hold with this process. You use the hair that you want to use to go on your hair, and just say that. Let's you utilize the option that you want none of your hair out. Okay, let's that, let's work with that first. So, something that you may need is first of all this solution. I know people have seen it. They may have different ones. This is the Pro Protect Solutions. It's a it's a protective serum that you put serum that you put on your hair. And this has like I'm gonna turn it around. Clinically tested on so natural ingredients as tea tree oil, oil, aloe vera, and um, calamine and things in here. Okay, I may have to take a break, you guys. Lexi's with the baby, so we may so click we in and know how well this this is gonna look today. Me family today. But this is a also a um, latex free, and it's um I say water, so you guys know what I'm talking about. The liquid stuff that you drink, it's um this is easily removed that way. This product, I'm going to show you a little bit of what it looks like. I'm going to put a little bit on this mannequin's hair because it's hard to do it by myself doing my own hair to show it. So I decided to use the chick, the girl here. <laughs> okay, so. This you would need this. You may need. I just brought things out so people, because people, some people may be visual like I am. You may need a blow dryer because this solution on your hair. This has to stick to hair, not just your scalp, because it will peel away. This dries on. Okay. This you're creating a cap. You're tr you're creating a cap to glue hair onto. I forgot to bring out the glue, but this, like a blow dryer, something to to dry this solution on hair, not just scalp, but hair. This, you may need, I'm just brought some things out. You may need a, um, what is this? Flat iron. Flat iron. You may need a curling iron, who's to say? For whatever you want to style, how you, how you want to style your hair. You're gonna need something like this, possibly. I brushed this solution on my hair with this. And you may need scissors. To some degree, maybe a brush or something, I don't know. And you're going to need your glue, okay? I don't, I wish I had the glue in my hand. Okay, let me go. Okay, like here's the bottle that I've already been using. You can see how that solution looks inside of there. Like a type of a gel, thick gel type of, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, it's like a dark gel. You can buy, I think these come in different colors as, as they dry. And you may need some type of hair glue, okay? So, that's being said, what you do is, the first thing you do as you're going to do this protective style, meaning, of course, you could possibly leave none of your hair out. Okay, we're going to, like I said, work with that solution. And so, the first thing you do is decide how you want to put your hair away. Like, if your hair is really long or whatever, you braid it, do whatever you do. It's, you know, like, mm -hmm. where it can, whatever you sit on top of, it can be pretty flat the best as possible. So... If you're braiding your hair, whatever, you braid it, you do whatever. Whatever you do to use a protective style under a stocking cap, that's what you're going to do. Even if you don't braid it, this will lie just your mm -hmm. hair down. But it's better to put it in plait or braids or French braid or something. Corn roll something. Corn roll yeah. or something. It just makes it better because this is going to dry, become a cap. This is going to 
become one. So you want, however you want your hair to feel as the, as it's drying on, as a, like I said, as if it was a stocking cap under, I mean, on top of your hair. So that's what you do first. Then you do clean your hair first. It's better to clean your hair because this, the, pro, the process that I'm showing you could last for some weeks or longer. I don't know exactly how long. It depends on how you do whatever you do. This is to keep your, your wig, weave, or whatever on for weeks and weeks possibly it works for me okay so protective style do whatever you're going to do first then start applying the solution on your hair as it's been cleaned and now braided okay so we're going to go from there we're going to pretend she has braids see those lines in her hair let's call those braids okay so you get a solution this product or something similar i don't know all the different types they have and it comes out like this i'm going to just show you really quickly um, a little bit coming out. I want to do it from a distance so you can see what it looks like. I don't want to waste it because it's like, and this stuff makes this sits on your hair and it's to protect your hair and it's giving it like a type of a moisture on your hair. See, this is a solution that's kind of like this. I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, it's like that. I close it up and you get. Where's my brush thingy? Oh snap! Oh Lord, she took my brush. <laughs> With that product, see it's a little bit sticky like that before it dries. And you, you put this on, you brush it on like you're painting, okay? On your hair, you brush this on. I put a little bit more. Do you need to see, see a little I'm bit good. more? Okay, let me just do a little bit more. Hold on, you guys. It's, it's not, it's kind of thick, but it's, it's like soft enough. thick syrup or something. Yeah. See, like that. This is what's giving your hair nutrients. This, as your hair is just braided, just braided or whatever. This is giving it nutrients. And so this, like I said, is creating a stocking cap, so to speak. See how it's running a little bit? And you brush this on your hair, on your hair. Like I said, not just your scalp. Because it, dry, it will flake off of just your scalp. It needs to attach to some type of hair. So, you brush this on. This dries, okay? It's not gonna dry right now this quick, it may. You use a blow dryer, you dry it once you brush it all over your hair. I put it on pretty thick because I don't want any glue residue on my natural hair. This is a protector, or oh, I forgot to say that. This is a glue protector to keep glue from sticking to your hair. That's what this is for. I know there are other videos to talk about it, but I'm just reiterating, this product it's, it's creating, like a, like I said, something a little bit better than a stocking cap because this is giving you nutrients for your hair and it sticks, the glue that you use sticks to this. As that dries, it becomes a shield on your hair and it gets like crispy. It's kind of a crisp feel and this dries. So when you're putting glue on your wig or anything, it doesn't stick to your natural hair. Okay, this stuff dries and it becomes like, it gets, gets like a, a, it looks like, I can't describe, it's like, um, it's a real thin layer of, it gets a little crispy. I can, mm -hmm. I can hit it like that when it's on my scalp, whatever. So this, this dries on. When this dries, you start applying your wig pieces. You put this all over your hair or wherever you want to apply glue, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Outside of just your skin, anywhere you want to put glue for where you have hair that's going to be covered under, I mean, that this is gonna be covered coating. under all of our hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is coats hair. And like I said, so it's okay for your skin, it just peels off. I've noticed when I've gotten it outside of my hairline, mm -hmm. it just peels off, that's, that's why I'm telling you. So, glue, and then so if I put so what I've learned is a quick solution for me is to coat my whole head or my just the top part of my hair, leave out my edges if I like, and just do a frontal from a wig. I cut away pieces from a wig. Like the part you guys know how some wigs have like this thingy. I left it on here on purpose. This band. Where is it? Oh, this one doesn't have one. Or does I think it? you. Oh, here it is. That thingy. I can't stand these things. Let me zoom in this band these thingies here so i've cut these off 
There's also elastic band. There's also elastic thing. band with the hooks. I can't, I just don't, I don't like these things. Because they hurt and they feel uncomfortable at the back of your hair. They feel uncomfortable. So, anyway, it's stingy. I yeah. detached this. I cut. That's made to let your wig be adjustable. I can wait. Okay, so I can get a wig, a whole wig, and I can cut away anything I want to cut. I've gotten a wig before, a cheap wig that I just wanted to change the color of the hair. I didn't want to dye my own hair. And I cut it away. I cut the tracks off of the wig cap. I've done that and used a few pieces for color. Well, so that'd do anything. And, but I used this solution before I glue it on my hair. Okay, I don't like to sew it on because my hair grows so fast it entwines mm -hmm. in the thread. And then it gets tangled. So, what I realized, that was taking me a lot more time to cut a wig apart. To keep taking all the little pieces off of the wig. I realized that was cost, that was just wasting more time. What I figured out is, I could get the entire wig. I take, I cut the bottom, the whole bottom off, even if I lose some hair. I cut the bottom off, okay? I would cut it. Get the wig as it is. Put glue along the tracks, some of the tracks, not all necessarily. Put a few pieces inside the cap of the wig. Glue a little bit, glue, 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 however. On the cap, attach it onto my head. I leave the combs too. I leave the combs, attach it to my hair, and it glues on and stays on. That's what I did partially for this. That's what I did with what I'm wearing. Because I didn't want most of my hair out because my hair is not colored. Mm -hmm. So I did that. And this is a, just a, a whole like wig thing that I glued on to my own hair to keep my hair up under here. And so in the back, when I cut this away, when I cut the bottom of a wig off, the bottom of my hair is exposed. All of this is my hair. Because all under here is my hair. So, because it, um, as if I can wear a high ponytail mm -hmm. or whatever. Your hair up. So I cut away the parts of the wig I don't want to weigh down here. I cut it away and I just leave my hair all under here. All under here, I leave my own hair. And so, and I got all of the, I got a frontal and everything. I don't have to worry about all my gray showing. Yeah. So that's what I did. And it's all around the cap. The entire cap was stayed on glued with this solution on because glue sticks great to this solution as it's completely dry. I've done it with the was not completely dry before. Because right, yeah. that's me. But it will stick to this like paper, like glue sticks on paper. It would stick like that. That's totally what it does. So I can create a hairstyle, any type of wig in the world. I can wear any type of wig, lace front, anything. Glue it like this is a whole part up here as a thing. It's glued on and it's, it's on there. I can't, it's, it's on there. Okay. And I did it my hair in less than 15 minutes. My, I walk out the door less than 15 minutes. The, the process is this drying and it dries quickly. Use a blow dryer dries even quicker. I don't use a blow dryer because I'm hard headed. I do what I want, how I want, and that's just the way I live when life. When she wants. And a whole entire new hairstyle, of any hairstyle you want. You guys, the baby's gonna be maybe crying a little bit. Just, just kind of. I'm gonna talk, try to talk quickly. And any type of wig from synthetic to any, a twenty dollar wig, a five dollar wig if you find one, too, a three hundred dollar wig or tracks. Yeah. Tracks anything you can individually glue your tracks on with the protector and it glue it will hold. Now, how to remove all of this? You get really warm water, like in the shower, whatever you run in your shower, make it really warm and you soak your head. You let it run, let it run, let and soak it. It won't come off just with cold water. Like if you just rain on your yeah. head or you jump in a pool or something, it won't just come off your hair, your wig, whatever you're wearing, your tracks. They want to just come off unless there's an exception. I don't know. It will not come off. You have to have really warm water and kind of let it soak. And what's going to happen is as you do that, the entire place that you glued everywhere you, everywhere you put this solution, this anywhere this dried onto your hair, 
it pulls off in one, one whole piece. piece like this it pulls off completely in one piece and your hair would just have the residue from this left on it but it's a treatment so you just rinse it out of yeah. your hair and it's a treatment your hair is really soft and i take it down anywhere i wear it i take when i take my hair down it's really soft and i just braid it back up and do it again sometimes Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I wear braids with my own hair and twine. I do all different types of things. It's just how I'm feeling. But right now, I don't want to color my hair. So I came up with a quick solution. So this is about, like I said, it's just a time consuming of this drying. As you braid or whatever your hair, mm -hmm. this dries. Glue on anything you want to wear on your hair. Any type of wig, I mean, tracks, whatever. Glue anything on. I promise you. You don't need a lot of glue. I, it's going to stick on there. It's on. It's on until you soak it in warm water and then the entire piece comes off. It peels off the, in a complete piece. Even if you had tracks, just say it wasn't a full wig and it was just tracks. Mm -hmm. When you go to remove the your hair stuff that you added, it's going to come off as a full wig. I promise you. It should. So, boom. Boom. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> boom. Boom. <laughs> boom. Telling you, it works. So it doesn't matter the price. Everybody can't afford a three or four hundred dollars. Or just want to save money. It would work. And this is a treatment on your hair. This product is a treatment. I for most people. I don't want someone to get out there and say they had a problem. But it's supposed to be latex free and things like that. But it is a good treatment. And I do have that done like this. And you can like I said, you can cut a wig, a cheap wig, or get tracks and tr create what you want if you just want the outside and leave your hair out to the top. If you want a complete wig, the late, any type of wig, or like I keep saying, tracks, and you put them wherever you want hair. It could be just a piece of partial, whatever, but I leave a lot of my hair out. And that's why it blends with my own hair. It, it, it just does. I leave a lot of my hair out, and you would never know that I've done that. I leave a lot of my own hair out. So, Boom. Thank you, Gwen. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for, I couldn't show my own right now because it's hard to do my own and show you. But I've done that for the front of my hair as well. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. It's okay. Oh. It's going to go. But like across the front of my hair, I've done that. I don't do the baby hair and stuff because I wear bangs anyway. But I didn't want my front part of my hair out because I didn't dye my, my hair. So that's what I did. Ooh, easy solution. Thank you, I tell you, it's so quick. It works really quickly and it's and it lasts. Anyway, yeah. that's good. We got to go to baby. It's like, hoo, hoo, hoo. so anything I can do more to help someone, mm -hmm. let me know if you're having problems with it, whatever you can, you can like hit me up in the, with your in what, in comments. The comments or whatever. And I can help you solve your solution because a lot of times it's just an He's not in the best mood. He's still eating. Look, he's not in the best mood. Oh, what? So this is little Christopher. He's angry because he's not finished eating. Christopher. And we're disturbing him. Oh. He is angry. Made his face oh, all baby. red. I know. He's angry. Look at him. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. And I would love to see or hear someone try it this way and see how it works for them absolutely so and it should be really quick easy easy on and super easy off but it lasts so if you want your, your hair to stay on for a while and have a healthy treatment this is a great solution oh this is oh <laughs> oh you guys what do we always say remember to turn on the notifications turn on those thingies the notifications do the um what do i say like comment like subscribe. comment that's right <laughs> Take care, you guys. Let me know if you need my help or anything else. Let me know in She's the comments. She's also on Instagram, and you can direct message yeah. her on there, too. Okay, but you guys take care. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>